Hello everyone, it's Calaversary 2 Special. Welcome back to the channel. I've been kind of on a bit of a holster kick here recently because I've been working with Craft Holster. And, you know, uh, just as a quick uh, sneak peek, the previous holster I had, you know, I reviewed was the outside the waistband. I don't, I don't have any mag carriers that I can use with that. Keep an eye open on the channel. You know, something, you know, something's going to be coming along that's going to be fixing that issue for me. Anyhow, back to today's topic. I've been experimenting with different holsters. Uh, I have an Alien Gear Shapeshift that I've played with a few different carry styles. I have the really nice Craft holster. Well, Kraft has off, you know, offered me an opportunity to review another one. This one might cause a little controversy. It is a shoulder holster. You know, with two mag carriers. Quick safety check. No magazine. Nothing in it. Gun is safe. This holster is again designed for the Smith & Wesson M&P shield with the 3.1 inch barrel. It does take some time to and playing with because this has these straps are adjustable for the size of the wearer. It took me a few tries of you know set it, put it on, move around a little bit. Okay, not quite pull the screw, you know, pull it, because it actually uses screws, pull the screws out, adjust it, put it back on, move around a little bit, no, not quite, make a different adjustment, so it does take some time to get that right. And at this point, I feel comfortable in saying that I have this thing adjusted the way I like it. Now, it is a, for a right-handed draw, with, you know, the mag pouch is being pulled, you know, with your left hand, your off hand. Where I think this holster comes in handy, as opposed to a belt holster, I know some people don't like the idea of shoulder carry, because it's flagging the person behind them, or it's flagging themselves as they're drawing. Previous holster, I made a comment that sitting in a rigid back chair the holster put a lot of pressure on my kidney well this alleviates that issue and for some people depending on what you do for a living <clears throat> having the holst having the firearm here makes it more accessible first thing that comes to my mind as would be like a professional driver they're in their vehicle, uh, and depending on state law, having it, the gun in a holster that's attached to the vehicle may or may not be legal, uh, or if you have it in the holster and you have to step out to get fuel, or even to check your tires on the side of the, ro side of the road may or may not be legal, but keeping it on your person may alleviate some of that check your local laws 100 percent check your local laws but also having it here means it's not pushing into your kidney as well as in a seated position you can draw it here where drawing it from here might be a bit tough the design of this holster the sleeve that the gun actually fits into rotates slightly so it rotates forward for the draw, and then actually rotates up, and is secured with you know a strap with a snap. So when it's in carry, the barrel's pointing straight down. Yes, when I draw that, yeah, I'm sweeping my arm. If you're following, you know, your safety rules about not having your finger on the trigger until you're ready to fire, you do alleviate a certain amount of that concern 
Um, as for whether you want to look at know your target and what's beyond, finger off the trigger until ready to use, and assume they're always loaded, or if you want to use like what some of the four like what Clover Tack talks about for the 4H kids, uh, muzzle action trigger, where the muzzle's pointed at, action is clear, you know, trigger discipline, you know, depending on what, you know, however you learn it, whichever way it works, keeping your finger off that trigger is going to seriously you know, help your flagging of your arm. And as if you're concerned about flagging someone else, drawing like this, yes, you are potentially flagging the person to one side. But then again, if you're drawing off of here, you're flagging some. You can potentially flag someone's lower half on that side. So the action of drawing a weapon, cross draw, standard draw, you know, about the only one that you might be able to get away with not quote unquote flagging somebody would be appendix because it stays in front of you the whole time. Anyhow, previous video, I made a comment that. Because this is also from Craft Holsters, that they you know they offer a break-in kit. Let me actually grab that stuff right over here on the desk. Should have had that with me at the beginning of the video, huh? So this is a small break-in kit. I'm guessing because of the size of the holster. This is the one that they told me I needed for the holster. In it comes a bottle of break-in liquid, which I'm not entirely sure what is in it. It smells like it has a little bit of alcohol, like denatured alcohol. A swab. I'll pick that up in a minute. Instructions, and I must have it set over on the desk separately. A cloth that you use to wipe off the leather and to buff out the finish of the leather. They also suggest taking a brand new holster, you know, spray the uh, break-in fluid, a break-in solution, take your firearm, unloaded of course, put it in a plastic bag. I use some inexpensive, you know, uh, Ziploc style, and insert it into the holster and leave it sit overnight. That way, because the plastic of the bag makes the gun ever so slightly larger. So that way, once the break-in period's done, I left mine in for, I think, three days, just to give it a little extra time. I didn't need the firearm to be ready right away. I had my SIG with me, so it wasn't a big deal. And now, if you, you can see, oh, that's something to be careful about. The mind you, it is clear and safety is on still, anyhow. That's where my snap actually caught the edge of the you know, caught something on the slide. And when I pushed it in, it actually moved my slide slightly. Good to know. First time I've had that happen. But yeah, as you can tell, how easy the gun goes in and out, the break in process works well. Is this a perfect carry solution for everybody? Absolutely not. That's why they make other designs. But if the other designs aren't working for you, give shoulder holster a thought. Uh, I know in a lot of modern carrier, you know, carriers, oh, there's a lot of people that. You know, because I used to be one of them that just flat out, nope, no shoulder holsters. That's not safe. I'm not doing it. Well, after getting the opportunity to try it out and to work with it a little bit, I'm willing to consider it. I'm willing to use it in certain applications. So maybe food for thought and open mind. Maybe you've got a buddy that has... A, hol a shoulder holster, even if it's not necessarily for your gun, 
but you can go to them carried around the range or around you know carried around the lit you know just put it on wear it around their house for a while something make sure make sure you're being legal about it but that way you can kind of get the feel for it yourself with, before you drop the money on it. When it comes to the craft holsters, I say they're worth the money. And shoulder is definitely one to don't poo poo until you think until you really get some time into it. Well, I appreciate everyone stopping by. Have a wonderful day.